Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be showing you how to edit an iPhone RAW image in Luminar Neo, one of the most popular RAW editors and a great choice if you're editing iPhone RAW images. To take the RAW shot, we're going to be using the Total RAW camera app available in the Apple App Store and it's really easy to get sharp RAW photos with your iPhone using this app. Let's take a photo of this particular night scene. So what I'd like to capture here is the vibrant lights of this large Christmas tree and the crowd relaxing around the tree. It really mirrors the joyous Christmas season. A few things to note, as you can see from the interface, I've set the shooting mode in total camera to raw, which allows for better editing capability to recover color and detail, especially in low light. I've also set the exposure mode to manual, which allows me to adjust two parameters, the ISO and the shutter speed. The ISO I've set to 100. In case you didn't know, the iPhone's ISO goes from around 30 to 3000. So 100 is a decently low number. So take note that it's always important to keep the ISO low to reduce the noise and get the best possible image quality from the iPhone. Note that I've set the shutter speed to 1 over 15. That speed allows for a proper exposure and is fast enough for both handheld shooting and freezing the moving subjects that were present in this shot. So what we want to do is really reduce the motion blur. And that's why we can't have such a low ISO that it sacrifices the type of shutter speed that is appropriate for this type of scene. So once the shot is captured, it will appear as a DNG file and this is clearly labeled in the Total RAW camera gallery. So in case you didn't know, DNG is the format of RAW for the iPhone. Next, you have to transfer the DNG to your Mac or Windows so that you can edit it in Luminar. And you can do that via AirDrop or any other preferred transfer method. Let's process the file now in Luminar Neo. So here we are in Luminar. As you can see, this is a DNG file. You can click on edit to begin the editing process. For those who are new to raw editing, you'll note that a raw file doesn't look as good as a JPEG in its initial state. But a raw file will contain a lot more data, actually four times more data than a JPEG file, which allows you to bring out details you could never get from a JPEG file. The first thing I want to do here is to fix up this Christmas tree. I actually shot this photo to capture the beautiful colors of this Christmas tree. But right now it's blown out, but we can bring that back with develop panel here. So we just click on develop here, and then we can make some adjustments to this image. So obviously the Christmas tree lights are overexposed. I'm just going to reduce the highlights here. So that brings back some nice detail in this Christmas tree. And then we can also enhance the shadows here. And you can see did a great job of illuminating the crowd while at the same time keeping the contrast and color quite nice. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do here is just do a little bit of enhancement here. Just click on accent, right, to make the image look better. And once I've made the enhancement, you will notice that I will be able to use the mask AI in order to make the selection to the Christmas tree. When it is in RAW, you cannot actually do that. So as you can see, now it is not in RAW. But I still have access to edit the RAW file itself through this Edits tab here. And I can actually do RAW editing in this Edits tab, okay, which I have already done. But right now, I want to use the Mask AI, make a selection to this Christmas tree. So I'm just going to click on Develop here, choose Masking. And then I'm, I'm going to choose Mask AI. As you can see, I will have a bunch of choices here. You can select the humans here, right there. It didn't do such a great job. The sky, so I did a better job with the sky. Uh, I'm gonna choose architecture. Okay, I'm, I'm going to deselect the sky and the humans. All right, so it did a decent job here. The tree was selected, but it's not perfect. So I can just click back here to go to the brush and fix up this, fix the selections. I'm just going to erase some of the mistakes here. Okay, so as I brush, you can see that the overlay will show up. 
very easy to understand there right so I'm just going to unselect this because this was a mistake like so okay and then I can even paint further here if I wanted to all right so the masking is not perfect but I this will do so we just go back into develop here and go back to adjustments as you can see okay let me just go back to mask AI here so you can see architecture is now better selected once I've done the masking I can now lower the just the tree itself all right so that's looking pretty good so other things we can do here this thing is a little bit noisy and it has um, can use a little bit of sharpening luckily Luminar Neo does have some AI to make that easy for us and so we're just going to go into the extensions here and let's start by reducing the noise so I'm just going to set this to high here right and I can also do some sharpening automatically with super sharp AI and I'll just click on high here and there you have it so a much sharper image and also a more noise free image so let's just export this now all right so let's just do the comparison here was the before and the after before and the after hope you have seen that you can get fantastic images on any iPhone if you shoot in RAW and know how to process images using a RAW photo editor like Luminar. Do check out Total RAW Camera on the App Store, the easiest to use app for RAW and manual shooting with a ton of other features. Best of all, if you purchase the app, it will help support this channel. So till the next video, happy iPhone shooting and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.